and welcome to another video. So today I have another C table. Uh, the last one I had, I uh, got lost in the move. Um, so let's open it up and see what's inside. I'll leave a link to it uh, below in the description. It's an Amazon product. So I'll leave a link to it below as usual. I will walk you through how to make the table. Probably should be very difficult given that um, it's supposed to be just a seat table, nothing complicated. The box is really taped up here. I guess they don't want it to be get banged up and transport, which is good. There you go. There was this red ribbon here I could have pulled to open it up. But, uh, all right. Got the manual here. Never want to lose the manual. That's probably the most important part. All right, let's see what we got. Before you start. Okay. So I'm gonna assume we have all of that. I'm not gonna look through it individually. But essentially the instructions are pretty minimum. Um, it just shows you a picture of where all the screws go. Uh, there's no step-by-step -step instructions. So good luck to you, but I'll show you how to do it. We'll figure it out together. We have our first tool. Okay. Annoyingly, they've uh, tied this screw bag with this ribbon, which is hard to get the stuff out, but I'm just gonna have to open up each and every little portion and get it out myself. All right, I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors to get all the stuff out because the bags are super strong so that they don't really fall out during transport which makes sense. I'm just gonna put the tools to the side and open up the rest of the bag. There's a single uh, ring there. Let's see, big screw. Okay, there's uh, seems to be two different length screws here. Okay, so I'm gonna also use this uh, electric screwdriver. I'll leave a video uh, link to it below if you want. I did an unboxing of this, but I'll use this instead of using their hand tools if I've got the appropriate connectors, just to speed up the process. All right, so there's also this box. We're not done yet. It's a fully adjustable uh, C table with various height adjustments, tilt adjustments, etc. Okay, and I'm covered in styrofoam. We'll clean that up later. This is a plastic surface. Same thing with this. This is plastic, um, which is good. You're not going to easily scratch it up or whatnot. I'm not gonna leave rings on it with a hot cup or anything like that. Okay, now let's look through the steps here. It's a very tiny picture. Um, if you're gonna go by that, good luck. I'm gonna have to go by that, but we'll figure it out together. Okay, so first things first, 
seems like this crossbar attaches to this thing. So we're gonna have to put it upside down here. So essentially this thing goes here like so. So I'm using a smaller screw for here. Um, that's what the picture says. I'm not gonna screw it in all the way. Okay, so there's a longer screw and a shorter screw. The shorter screw one will go here. So we're gonna screw that in here. That's, um, that's just gonna help you figure out your tilt. There is a bar that goes under the bracket here. So make sure you put that uh, bar in as well. And then you're gonna use the longer screws up here, like I said earlier. Uh, so let's put the longer screw here and then screw them in. I'm gonna use my electric screwdriver to help me. All right, yeah. So this part is actually thinner than the other part of the table. So it's not sitting well on the floor. It's a little tilted, but that's okay. As we screw it in, it's gonna lift off the floor. I'm just screwing it partially in right now just to get me to a point where I feel like it's stable. And then you can always hand tighten on top of that. Don't forget to tighten these screws, these screws holding the rod in place. Okay, now that we have this set, make sure this is screwed in well. Let's make the base. So the base, essentially, this will be the bottom. Um, I'm gonna see if there's any differences on the two sides. Uh, this, will where, this will be where the wheels go, so this will be on the bottom. I'm gonna attach this rod here to hold that in place. You wanna make sure that the right side is pointing the inside, so this screw hole here needs to go away from this other flat bar so this is going to be pointing that this hole is going to be pointing this way um, and it's screw number n which is the smaller screws okay so we will use those now i'm figuring out just now that i must have used one of the small uh, wrong screws over there because i have one extra longer screw but as long as, since the thread size is the same, it really shouldn't matter. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get it in here or I'm gonna have to go back and find where I used the wrong screw. Or maybe I didn't use the wrong screw and they gave me the wrong count. More likely I made a mistake. Moment of truth. Let's see if this one will go in all the way or if I'm gonna have to pick it out. Oh, it goes in all the way, so that's fine. We can just leave it as it as it is. You wanna hand tighten them a little bit more, keep it stable. This is gonna be carrying the bulk of your table's weight, so you wanna make sure this is nice and tight. Okay. See it's pretty sturdy. All right, let's put the screws on here. I mean the wheels on here. These just screw in here just like any other screws. So 
um, you're gonna have to use this tool because the uh, wheel turns on the screw. So you're gonna have to use this tool to tighten it on here. Um, this is sort of a annoying part of the job because you have to put this on here. It's like a tiny little tool and then you have to twist. This is gonna be the most tedious part. You can use your hand to essentially screw in as much as you can. One step forward, two steps backwards. <laughs> Make sure you have this ready to go. We're gonna put this on top. So this will go in here and you see the three notches here, which is where this will come into play and hold it in place. So on the tallest setting, So because this is sharp, I can actually just leave it in place here and it's not even in one of the notches. I think that's the benefit of having that sharp edged um, screw. But uh, if you wanna have it in the most stable location, you would probably wanna line it up with the notch. Although I don't think it's important given that the screw has a sharp tip to kinda lock it in self, lock it self in place in any of the positions on the table. So this is tilting right now. We don't want it tilting. So essentially all we have to do is screw this in until it's tight to at whatever angle we want. And then it doesn't tilt anymore. Okay, so it can, this is one of the taller positions, but you can make it taller uh, and you can make it as short as this. So there is some clay in this table. Next step would be the big screw that goes to the bottom here. And then of course the, oh, this is too small for that. So I'm just gonna use my hand and then the tool they provided. That should add a little bit of stability to this product. Okay, let's lift it up. There are locks here to lock the wheels. So you wanna unlock so you can roll it easily. I don't know if the locks were supposed to go in a particular pattern, but I kind of just randomly put one here and here. I didn't even realize there were locks on the wheels. But if you're particular about where your locks go, you can go ahead and change it. So as you can see, that locks it. I'm gonna unlock it. I'm gonna tighten this. So this is as tight as it gets, but there's still some play here. Uh, I'm not sure why that is. Um, trying to see if I could tighten something. But I think it's just a function of uh, the way this product swivels. But essentially, you will have some play here. I'm uh, looking down here, I see another screw in this bracket but there is no hole for me to put a screw in, which makes sense because uh, it's not really, I mean, you needed to twist on this uh, rod here to have allow for the swivel feature. Let's see, I'm gonna un untighten it here. And you can swivel as steeply as this and then flatten it out all the way to the other side. And then you can keep it flat like that, or you can keep it angled along with this side of the table, which at baseline comes a little angled. So I'm gonna go ahead and line it up with the, the default position here. Okay. And then as far as this, I'm gonna go ahead and make it taller. So you wanna just put your foot on the base and then pull. And the tallest position is about this much. I'm gonna tighten here. 
So this is about the tallest position. You can essentially use this as a stand-in desk. Um, it's, it's still a little short for me, but this can do the job. Uh, of course, the biggest goal of this table would be to slide under a couch or a bed. Um, anyways, that's it for this C-shaped table. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.